Simix Technologies, Inc. was a company that specialized in informatics and automation products. Simix provided software solutions for scientific research, including enterprise laboratory notebooks and products for combinatorial chemistry. The software part of the business became part of Accelerys, Inc. in 2010. Simix also offered laboratory robotics systems for performing automated chemical research, which on 2010, was spun out as FreeSlate, Inc. Products Simix offered high-speed combinatorial technologies for the discovery of new materials. Using proprietary technologies, including instruments, software and methods, Simix was able to generate hundreds to thousands of unique materials at a time and screen those materials rapidly and automatically for desired properties. This approach can deliver results hundreds to thousands of times faster than traditional research methods, at a fraction of the cost. Simix applied this technology to revolutionize materials discovery in the life sciences, chemical, and electronics industries. Topic History Founded in 1994 by Dr. Alejandro Zaffaroni and Dr. Peter G. Schultz, Simic's conceptual basis drew from Affimax, Inc. and Affimetrix, Inc., which commercialized the use of high-speed combinatorial methods for pharmaceutical and genetic research, respectively. Dr. McFarland, professor at UCSB, was the founding director. Simix screens about a million materials a year and has produced a product pipeline with several materials that have the potential to be commercialized in the next few years. Examples of their discovery efforts include X-ray storage phosphors for radiography, polymers to speed DNA research and catalysts for the manufacture of pharmaceuticals, chemicals and plastics. In 2004, Simix Technologies acquired Intellichem, a software manufacturer for electronic laboratory notebooks and, in 2007 Simix Technologies acquired MDL Information Systems originally Molecular Design Limited, Inc., a provider of R&D informatics in the chemistry and life sciences industries, which had been launched as a computer-aided drug design firm in January 1978. With this purchase came the purveyorship of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention NIOSH Registry of Toxic Effects of Chemical Substances RTECS, www.cdc.gov slash NIOSH slash Artex closing parenthesis, a database of basic toxicity information on household chemical substances, food additives, drugs, solvents, biocides, and chemical waste components which as of first quarter of 2012 contained approximately equals 170,000 entries. In 2008, Simix sold non-RTECS portions of the Occupational Health and Safety OS component of the MDL business to Chemadvisor, Inc., of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Subsequent innovations derived from these business components included an Enterprise Electronic Laboratory Notebook ELN capable of supporting multiple scientific disciplines. In 2010, Simix spun off their laboratory robotics business as FreeSlate. Inc. FreeSlate develops high throughput systems for automating chemical research. In 2010, the remaining Simix software business merged with Accelerys, with the combined company being known simply as Accelerys. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Business model considerations. The concept of combinatory chemistry outside of biotech area was the focus of Simix. The initial Simix business model was to provide contract research for large chemical companies at a contract size from $0.5 million to $200 million. 
The company had initial success in gaining enough contracts to reach profitability, with small deals with few initial customers which led to large deals, such as with Exxon. Simix then started to sell equipment. One other key point was the company had to develop new tools and hire new people when a new project came up because the contract was in a brand new research area and required different expertise. Therefore, the research contract business was not scalable. This is seen as the reason for company failure, even though the company had over 500 patents. Other companies followed Simix's path. Intermolecular licensed Simix patents on electronic materials and is developing tools for the electronic materials companies. <laughs> 